Track live, Doppler, nothing to show. We've had issues with showers and storms the last couple of days. That is finally being a, uh, well, becoming a non-issue going into the weekend, uh, which is good news. The bad news is we were replacing it with every day that building heat and humidity. So nothing happening as far as the max track goes or the LAX 18 storm track or future track. It takes you out into this afternoon, partly to mostly sunny skies at times and very little happening tomorrow. More of the same problem is what you're not seeing the heat and humidity. This is by Sunday. This signals that hint of moisture that you can see on the future track what will eventually be a significant pattern change that will start with some scattered showers and thunder showers late in the weekend. But for right now, we're still talking about the building heat wave 76 degrees in Lexington. It is muggy. We're in the low 70s for the dew point. It's still 80 in Louisville and look at the dew point temperatures in the low to mid 70s. That is just some very swampy air. You're not just humid, you're getting into tropical territory. Springfield yesterday had a 77 degree dew point as we got into the early afternoon. Uh, that's tropical. So we've got a July heat wave, sprawling heat dome and heat advisories, excessive heat warnings all across the United States. It's in full effect. I mean, this goes from out towards Nebraska, Kansas, all the way to the East Coast. Boston's under it. Uh, over 1500 miles worth of advisories and warnings and it's all heat related. And as we zoom in, you'll be able to see the excessive heat warning and the heat advisories in that orange that cover the entire Commonwealth. So much like that hot dog at the corner gas station that's just sitting on the rack and spinning and roasting and you don't know how long it's been going on. Well, we know how long this is going on. We're getting into the peak of it this weekend. The heat index anywhere from 100 to 105, what it will feel like into our southeastern counties. The success of heat warning, I think we're going to have difficulty reaching that level of heat index values. That's up to 110, uh, 105 to 110. Now, we could do it, but we're definitely in the heat advisory range. And this heat wave definitely hangs on through the weekend. We could see our Highest highs of the year so far. We've hit 93 in Lexington. We'll either match it or exceed it today or tomorrow with triple digit heated disease just keeping it swampy. Now, by the end of the weekend, that rapid drop off, that much cooler below average high, that's all thanks to a trough digging in, a cold front coming in. It'll spark those late weekend shower and storm chances, but also significantly cool things down. So this doesn't last forever, but we are set to simmer all the way through the weekend. Low to mid 90s, hot and steamy and partly sunny, but fortunately no showers or storms to have to worry about today or really tomorrow. But Saturday is probably where the heat is going to peak. Uh, now that uh, excessive heat warning goes all the way through to Sunday for the bluegrass, but we will see an increasing chance for scattered showers and storms Sunday. So as far as the Barbersall Championship goes, those golfers and anybody going out to enjoy the golfing, we're just going to be doing a lot of sweating. Stay hydrated, you know, common sense stuff. Don't overdo it outside. By the end of the weekend for the last day of the Barbasol Championship, scattered showers and storms more of an issue and beautiful days ahead next week.